Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's video because we're doing another dope or nope foundation review. Now, instead of just one product, I've got two. We will be comparing the Anastasia Stick Foundation to the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. Both are stick foundations and um, I put them to the test. So I'm really excited to share my results with you guys and give you guys the most amount of information that you'll need if you're planning to purchase these. So before we get started, I wanna remind you guys, if you're new here, please uh, go ahead and subscribe because I'm really cool. <laughs> no, but really, go ahead and subscribe because um, I put in a lot of effort to bring quality content and I love hearing your guys' comments and things that you want me to do videos on. So, don't forget to do that. You want to get those notifications. And also, please give this a thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. And from just looking at the website on Sephora, it says, or it does claim to be long-wearing, waterproof. So, hey, you got to go swimming on that first date. This, this might be the one. <laughs> And it's also supposed to last for about 12 hours of wear. For the Anastasia Stick Foundation, it is medium to full coverage, so it's buildable. That's what it says on the website. And it also has a matte finish. I don't know so much about being waterproof. All right, so in terms of shades, both brands actually offer an amazing amount of coverage for women of color. So the Hourglass Vanish Foundation has 26 shades. And to me, when I was in Sephora, I felt like I found a closer match to my skin tone than with the Anastasia Foundation. So I'm wearing the Vanish Foundation currently, and I feel like it's so hard to get that right color, you know, because a lot of us deal with colors in different parts of our body. So my face is light, and then my neck is dark, and then my body is like a little bit tanner than my face. But I feel like I found just the right shade for me, and they had so many different shades of brown. Now the Anastasia um, Stick Foundation is offered in 23 different shades. So personally for me, I, I found a shade that was just slightly lighter than what I am, so it doesn't look ridiculous. It's just more of like, my winter tone versus my summer tone, you know what I mean? So I will say, you know, obviously the Vanish one has a bit more. I feel like they just kind of got the color combinations and the undertones right, in my opinion. <laughs> so in terms of staying power, you know, like which one has that oomph, you know? So the Vanish foundation, like I said before, claims to last for about 12 hours. Now it does have a slight matte finish, but I'm just gonna say this, because you have that like dewy, like glowy kind of look, I found that maybe after six or eight hours, you know, I did have to touch up a little bit. Not a lot, I wasn't an oily mess. You know, I'm combination, so I get oily in my T-zone, and the rest is just kind of normal. However, you know, I'm gonna say that the Anastasia Foundation, like, psh, after eight hours, that stuff could stay on, like, even longer. So to me, that's more of something that you wanna wear when you're gonna be out all day, you don't have time to touch up your makeup, stuff like that. I did do an eight hour wear test, and I'll talk more in detail about how you apply each one and how long they last and stuff like that. I'm gonna say that I feel like you need to apply a smoothing primer. I think that helps this foundation not be oily on somebody who is not dry, you know what I mean? I really don't think that you need to use a foundation brush because I have this brush from Morphe, the M439. It's a bit dirty because I used it already. But it was so amazing at spreading everything out. It just did just lovely and it also did work for the Anastasia stick foundation as well I didn't feel like there was a difference in terms of me actually you know applying it and being able to spread it out with the brush I did however come up with a technique for how to make the Anastasia stick foundation just spread a bit easily so you're not struggling with it uh, the Anastasia foundation is 
totally it is hard to spread I'm just gonna put that out there so if you're not willing to put in that extra effort or change your foundation routine it might not be the one for you um, I will also say that the beauty blender is not something that you want to use with this foundation because you'll be so frustrated trying to blend it out I did not have much luck I just really went with my morphe brush and that was just like all right seals the deal next move on you know what I mean let's talk about the price so I'm not gonna lie the vanish foundation is $46 now you're getting 0.25 ounces of foundation I will say that there is a clear difference to me in terms of application of the two foundations but you just get what you pay for you know what I mean now the Anastasia one is $25 and you get 0.32 ounces so you do get a bit more but in my opinion you have to use more of it so if you're gonna be wearing this foundation every day I think it would be better to invest in the Vanish foundation because although you're paying more of it really a little bit goes a long way you don't need to use a lot at all in contrast the Anastasia foundation you do need to use a lot of it and it can be quite hard to spread now you can use both of these foundations um, to highlight and contour so that's amazing obviously the downfall to that is you would have to buy two foundation shades basically to get the lighter shade and the darker one so it's up to you if you want to invest in that however I think you can of course just use it with your regular concealer whatever you have I mean that's what I did now in terms of finish both foundations give very different finishes so in my opinion the vanish foundation is a lot more like dewy like natural skin just glowing and glistening I wouldn't say necessarily oily it just gives you like a glowing look but I feel like with that foundation it's totally easier to believe that you're not wearing foundation unless you like really cake it on but like as you can see I'm wearing it right now and it doesn't look like I have a lot of cake on my face it just looks so like natural and smooth even when you set it with any kind of translucent powder it's just like it goes on so lovely now in contrast to the Anastasia foundation you know I mean I like this foundation but I'm just gonna have to say it does go on super matte so I've heard different things from people. Some people who are super oily say it's really hard to spread, but that they like the foundation. I think that if you're definitely just a straight up oily person, you might want to try the Anastasia one. It might be better suited to you. But if you're dry, don't even waste your time with the Anastasia one because it will cling to dry patches. Um, on dry areas, it's so hard to spread. So I would say, when you compare the two, the Vanish foundation is better for more types of skin and also dry skin. And the Anastasia one is really more suited to people with oilier skin because your natural oils are going to help to spread it. Hey guys, so now that I've showed you, you know, all my little wear clips and how to apply everything, I'm just going to say my hands down favorite is the Vanish foundation. Yes, I know it's more expensive, but it just goes on like a dream. To me, I love foundations that just look so natural on the skin. It's nice to be matte, but sometimes, you know, I don't want people to think I have a ton of makeup on. I just want it to look natural. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely my favorite. I would say I'm more inclined to repurchase the Vanish foundation than the Anastasia one. You know, I like the Anastasia one, but I just don't feel like it's like the ish like I can't live without it you know what I mean and personally even though I'm combination I do get oily I feel like if you use your if you bake if you use setting spray like those kinds of oily issues can easily be avoided um, but I'm just gonna say you know what you guys they are both wonderful foundations I will leave the final choice up to you let me know down in the comments which one you guys love. I want to know, and if you guys have experience trying them, let me know. And also tag me on social media. You can follow me. My handles are up above, and let me know what your thoughts are. So thanks so much. If you've stuck around to the end of the video, you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.